Hi, I'll jump straight to the topic, why I think that recession was the best thing to have happened. In fact, any phenomena that takes place that you see happening, anything that rolls out in reality, that's a correction of sorts. Many of us had a blind trust, blind faith in the current uh, power, in the current government, that they will set things right. We saw stagnation and lack of promise for growth in the previous government, so we brought in the new party. Every party or any party can only do so much. They will not provide answers to all our questions. So the current recession is an eye opener. It is, it is a correction that we needed in our perception. We were blind. Blind means you can't see things either completely or partially. We could not see that too much trust, too much faith gives rise to a codependent dynamic. A single entity, whether an individual or any government, uh, any party in power, cannot be the answer to all our problems. Not just that, we see that the government has not come forth and addressed the nation when they should have. They are pretty good in speaking. Wonder what's causing them to be mute at this precise time when a certain word from the finance minister can make a lot of difference. Wonder where their voice has gone. Although there are global uh, reasons, global slowdown process that, are, that is taking place, but what cannot be denied was the fact that the money was siphoned out of the system because of demonetization and GST, which were great moves in themselves, but there wasn't any backup plan. Demonetization was supposed to remove the extra, uh, the the uh, the black money, if you if you will, or the uh, unannounced money from the market, and it did siphon out that much money, but it hit the informal economy the hardest, which more or less comprises sixty percent of our of our economy. Was there a backup plan? We didn't find it. And what about GST? It was supposed to make things simpler. Did it make things simpler? It did with, in due course of time. But where was the return that people were supposed to get on the taxes they had submitted to the government, which were to be plowed back in, as investments and keep the engines of the economy going? We did not see that. These two reasons, these two, uh, two causes were, had they have become causes to the current problem because of the inefficiency. Maybe the government aimed for something that they weren't prepared for. Intentions aren't enough. Implementation, execution of ideas are more important. The a correct roadmap was missing. An electoral, uh, if you how do you put it an electoral uh, motive seemed to be playing more prominently coming back to the point current recession has been a correction in our uh, impractical expectation from the government the government hasn't provided the fiscal stimulus it should have by now especially when it's a festival festival season and the aggregate demand could have really picked up and they say we are assuming people are saying from everywhere because their tax uh, base hasn't increased they don't have much revenue so they can't put a lot of fiscal stimulus into the they can't inject a lot of fiscal stimulus into the economy we are they are there these are all assumptions until we hear from them there has to be a direct word there were a lot of direct words at the time of elections. Where are these direct words now? Moving on, when somebody does not provide you the means of survival, you provide it yourself. What as 
we Indians as individual entities can do to keep the engines going? There are four suggestions that I have come up with, not just, and time and again, uh, history has proven that these things work. And these are, you've got to spend, save and give. No matter whether you have money, there is abundance all around us. There's wealth all, ar all around us. There's boom in the economy. You have to follow this rule. You have to keep a momentum going. You have to m make things in perpetual movement. Things seem dead when there is no movement. So even if you have lost your job, even if you have... Uh, if, you, if you've seen that your profits have uh, condensed quite a bit, do it on a smaller scale, but do it. I'm seeing, saying it out of my own experience. You feel abundance. You, see, you feel wealth around you. When there is movement, when there is stagnation, when there is a block, that's when you feel the fear. You feel fear when there is lack of movement. So if, you've, if you have less money, spend less when you spend there is a movement so suppose you have 100 bucks you have you you spend about 50 out of it you give you give as charity to certain uh, a certain portion of it uh, and of course you always save and this saving is in a much larger scale when you have more money but don't just Stop spending, stop saving, stop giving altogether when things are things are rough. Continue doing it, but uh, even though on a much smaller scale, there has to be a movement. A thing is called dead. An economy would be called dead if there is no movement. When you spend even though you're spending five rupees, 10 rupees, 20 rupees and uh, such stuff and in such small, small amounts, you are providing uh, means of livelihood to certain people who are operating on a really low scale. You're also giving a certain amount. You're not giving in thousands and uh, um, maybe hundreds, but you're giving in some, some little portion uh, as charity, as maybe just 10 bucks two to each five five this way in certain in this denomination and then you're saving you should you must always save a certain amount a certain amount house or and never block and never spend never spend in large amount always dispense with money only to that extent in um, to that extent that you don't feel fear that what if you lose it? So if you spend 70 bucks out of 100, you'll end up feeling that you've blocked 70, which may not come back. But if you, if you spend or block your money or buy certain things, uh, let's say only towards 40 to 45 percent, you will never ever feel the fear that cripples you. So keep that movement going. Keep that flow of electrons to uh, keep the electric circuit energized. Keep, keep doing that. So uh, I guess I have made this point clear even from the quantum uh, physics point of view. Let those electrons flow in the circuit so that each corner of the circuit is energized. Even though on a smaller scale, don't let it die. The second one is that no matter how bad, how bad um, a recession is, certain private individuals always have enough to start a certain project. Just imagine, I mean, it, it talks about a certain degree of importance that you're sitting in your AC or non-AC room and just talking about how bad, bad people are, how bad the government is. They are not doing anything. Are you, are you not putting yourself in the same, in the same category by not doing anything and just talking? 
in your drawing room so if you can nobody ever feels they have enough but some people must bring that abundance mentality that wealth mentality into themselves and say i have enough i do have enough and i can dispense with a little amount to start that new project imagine how easily you will get employees because they are as it is struggling to be employed to keep that liquidity flow in their houses so start that small little projects that you had in your mind at this point in time don't just keep looking like look look up to the government which seemingly is doing nothing at this precise moment then the there is then the third point which i guess is quite important here only a poor hr will fire people from their organizations until you are in neck deep into debts and you're so ready to fold up which in any case if you are wiped out if you are eliminated during times of recession you would have gotten eliminated anyways because in during recessions only those people get wiped out to get derooted whose debt to uh, liquidity ratio is pretty high they are neck deep neck deep into debts so in that case they can't stretch any longer they fold up sooner than later but if you are not dreaming of folding up don't fire people because you're blocking you're stunting the aggregate demand and you're stopping the prospects for your own company there has to be movement keep the wealth moving so that your mind gets signals that things are moving so shorten uh, what is what is the way out reduce the working hours of people and adjust their salaries ac accordingly correspondingly so instead of they working for 8 hours maybe reduce it to 3 or 4 hours if they are willing to be a part of the system instead of just cutting the branch all together give them a choice whether they would like to work for a lesser number of hours for a lesser amount of money corresponding adjustment in their salaries would be made and then you would find that if you let people go all together you are letting those experiences skilled people go who you may not find later you will have to spend a lot of money in hiring new people um, imparting skills and training and experience to them and when things get better they may come they may demand equal amount of money that you were spending now on your existing uh, workforce so it's definitely not a good idea finally retain your customers how you do that is up to you whether you provide people with uh, who pay you a big amount in one go they pro you provide them with lot of benefits you cut down your you revamp your credit policies you don't block your money uh, to in into the into customers who aren't paying you right away or uh, you give credit only to a certain amount or you provide people pra products of a smaller range that's completely up to you that's completely up to those people who are responsible for developing your business so basically i'll cut a long matter short if you know that if you realize that money is energy in the 3d form you have to keep it circle in the circulating mode so that the whole system is energized if you are out of job apply every day at places your mind gets signals that things are moving and when you feed positive thoughts they become bigger don't feed negativity by just focusing on what the government has failed to do or how things went bad if you keep on watering and giving fertilizers and sunlight to a plant which is poisonous that plant would grow while the plant that can give you nutritious fruits will not get what you should have given to them so feed only solutions keys to answers 
light because let's face it this world is full of duality good bad shadow shadow light uh, black white please shift your attention in this new year only to the solutions feed the goodness choose to ignore the shadow that does not mean you're not going to help people who have been victims do that as an opportunity to make some concrete changes in this world but with a degree of dissociation do not do not give more focus do not be focused on negativity let the movement be maintained by this rule spend save give let your mind know things haven't stopped because when things stops things become dead we aren't dreaming of being dead do it on smaller scale do it on a medium scale do it, do it on a larger scale but do it always you spend you save you give let things flow thank you